it is equal to four bowling balls on your spine. What? 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 time you look at your smartphone, you could be doing some serious damage to your spine. A recent study puts it in perspective by the pound. CBS 2 Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch report. Heads up tonight for millions of Americans with their heads down, from teenagers in junior high to traders on Wall Street, all hunched over texting, tweeting. Oh, just checking messages. Did you know the devices we use every day could be doing serious damage to our bodies? WhatsApp, preste mucha atención. Usted que usa el WhatsApp, igual que todos nosotros, la mayoría de nosotros. El uso de esta aplicación está causando serios daños en nuestra columna. Rückenschmerzen sind die Volkskrankheit Nummer 1 in Deutschland. 20 Millionen Deutsche klagen regelmäßig über dieses Leiden. 85 Prozent der Deutschen haben aufgrund einer unnatürlichen Haltung, wie beispielsweise durch das Arbeiten am Computer, mindestens einmal im Leben Kreuzschmerzen und es könnten noch mehr werden. <lacht> आपण मोबाईल शिवाय जगण्याचा विचार सुद्धा करू शकत नाही लोकांशी एक वेळ तुम्ही बोलणार नाही पण व्हॉट्सअप फेसबुक ट्विटर ईमेल हे तर पाहिजेच जगाशी संपर्कात राहणं बदलत्या जगासोबत धावणं हे केवळ शक्य झालंय ते मोबाईल फोनमुळे भारतात सध्या नव्वद कोटी लोकांकडे मोबाईल आहेत भारत जगातील दुसऱ्या क्रमांकाचा मोबाईल युजर्सचा देश आहे Average Americans spend two to four hours a day on their smart devices, texting, emailing, playing games. How much time do you think you spend texting? Too much time. High schoolers spend thousands of hours a year on their phones, and when hunched over too long, pain may set in. Age doesn't matter. Well, I get it in the neck area a little bit, and then it will refer out into the shoulders or down into the upper back. This is good posture, head up, shoulders back. But as you tilt your head down, the stress on your spine increases dramatically. This study shows clearly that if you keep your head in neutral, which is straight up, then it's the most efficient position and you'll feel the best. So take a look at this. Normally, when you're standing upright, so your head's about 10 to 12 pounds. But if you just even go to 15 degrees to look at your email on your phone, 27 pounds, 30 degrees, 40 pounds, 45 degrees, 49 pounds. And here's that standard poodle I was talking about. 60 degrees makes it like 60 pounds when you are looking down at your phone. The head exerts 10 to 12 pounds of force on the spine, even when the neck is positioned in a neutral upright position. When the neck is craned to 30 degrees, the force placed on the spine increases to 40 pounds, the equivalent of three bowling balls. Craned at 60 degrees, the spine is experiencing 60 pounds of force, which is roughly the weight of four bowling balls or an eight-year-old child. Der Blick im 45 Grad Winkel auf das Smartphone ist es noch schlimmer für den Rücken. Der muss dann eine Belastung von 22,24 Kilogramm stemmen. Am allerschlimmsten wird es für unseren Haltungsapparat, wenn wir im 60 Grad Winkel aufs Smartphone schielen. Sage und schreibe 27,22 Kilogramm Gewicht belasten dann unsere Wirbelsäule. Zum Vergleich, was das bedeutet. Dieses Gewicht stemmen wir auch, wenn wir beispielsweise sechs Säcke Kartoffeln oder sechs große Wassermelonen oder ein ungefähr acht Jahre altes Kind tragen. Every time you look down at your smartphone, right, yes. right. four bowling balls worth of weight or six bags of groceries is yeah. bearing down on you. Your yeah, head about weighs, what? Yes, yes about a what? new study finds the pressure is equal to about 60 pounds, aka four bowling balls. Huh. But when your head's tilted down over a smartphone, doctors say it's like carrying 60 pounds or six bowling balls around your neck. With the excessive stress in the neck, that you'll get wear and tear and degeneration. Surgery may eventually be necessary. In my heart, I really believe that with time, we're going to see an uptick of spinal surgeries and spinal treatments. What should we be doing? Should we be ditching cell phones, smartphones altogether? I'm a proponent of the technology, and I say just be careful of where your head is in space. So you can certainly text, but keep your head up. 
I think the main problem here is that a lot of people today, they try to hide their texting. You know, they're texting at work, they're texting in the car. And so they're keeping their phones down like this and they're forced to look down. So, you know, maybe we weren't so secretive about it and we kept it up here, then we really could avoid those risks. So things that we can do, you can hold your phone up like this to eye level and then you're not really straining your neck. Proper posture is really simple. Your ears above your shoulders. Above my shoulders. Right, and your angel wings, your scapula retracted. Once you've achieved proper alignment, take a deep breath and enjoy it. This is the most efficient position for the spine.